Hello and welcome to my build review of the Eurofighter Typhoon Twin Seater plastic model kit from Revel in the scale 1 to 72. In this video I want to talk about the problems I encountered while building the Eurofighter and of course show you the outcome of the building process. If you want to buy and build the Eurofighter yourself just check out the affiliate links in the description. Now here is a short story. Approximately 10 years ago I gave up this hobby. Back then I had maybe 20 to 25 model kits of military jets and also helicopters, but I did not have the time or patience to continue. However, a few weeks ago I found all that was left of my hobby. Glue, other tools, some paint and three unfinished projects. An F-14, a German Leopard tank and this Eurofighter. When I was bored the other day I spontaneously started with the F-14, which turned out surprisingly well. So I picked up the Eurofighter and started building it too. I did not have all the different grey tones as suggested by the manual, but I just put on a light grey grounding which came quite close to the original paint job of the Eurofighter. There are decals for the German, a Spanish and the Royal Air Force Eurofighter in the box. I come from Austria and our Air Force also has 15 Eurofighters, but since I did not have the according decals I chose to build the German one. After putting on the grounding color the first problems emerged already. It looked like I already begun with the cockpit assembly 10 years ago and soon I found out why I stopped. It was just horrible. The joystick wouldn't stay in place and putting the decals of the cockpit in place was a real pain in the ass. They would stick to my fingers, tweezers, q-tips, onto each other and everywhere but not the place where they belonged. Furthermore the ejection seat would break apart a few times and for the cockpit I cut the decals in half cause I thought it would be easier that way. I was wrong. At this point I thought to myself, why am I recording this? So I was close to giving up, but once the cockpits were done, they did not even look that bad. So I continued building the Eurofighter, but I stopped recording it, but took a few pictures instead. I guess that I was just too impatient in the beginning. You really have to take your time and take a break after nearly every step so the glue, paint or decals can dry. Nonetheless I already got some decal sold for my next projects. The overall fitting of the parts was mediocre, the worst being this piece of the air intake. I also put some weight in the front of the aircraft so it would stand on all three wheels. Here you can see how tiny some parts are. You really need steady hands and a lot of patience for this hobby. For the wheels I got myself a very fine brush, which was the best investment because I could add a lot of small details. Yes, I painted the head-up display in a light green just because I love how they look in real life. For example in this Rafael I photographed at an airshow. Another difficulty I had were the decals for the sidewinders and amrams. I helped myself with some duct tape, but for my future projects I'll use decal sol. As you can see here, some of them are extremely small. So after putting on all the decals, I also added a few details with my fine brush. And here you can see the final outcome. Overall I'm pretty satisfied with it due to the fact that I didn't build these model kits in the last 10 years. The paint job could be a lot better because it looks like I used too much paint. I can't afford a proper airbrush at the moment so I'll just try to be more careful when painting my next kits. Well that was my build review of the Eurofighter Typhoon Twin Seater. I hope you liked it. If you want to see videos about my next projects Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. My next projects will be a Rafael, a FA-18 Hornet and a Suhoi. So if you want to see that, leave me feedback please.
Again, if you want to build the real fighter yourself, just check out the affiliate links in the description. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.